Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about the Hollywood strikes, but we're going to talk about how the Hollywood strikes are affecting below the line workers. They seem very, very fed up with what is going on if you read the comments on some of these trade publications. Now, that being said, we don't know if these comments are all legitimate or if we've got, you know, because after what happened with HBO, the yeah, might, studio you might know. have fake accounts. But I can tell you that uh, on the down low privately, we have heard from below the line workers who said that, yes, things are very, very bad. And a lot of them feel overlooked because it's basically uh, rich people fighting with more rich people. And uh, these people who are not getting paid as much in most cases as the actors and the writers are suffering the most for. Well, I think a lot of the actors that are the ones that don't make a lot of money because she's like bragging like, well, most of our people don't even make enough to get health insurance. Well, then they obviously are suffering too. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I think you guys need to end this. This is getting ridiculous. So let's let's talk about this. We'll see where we're at with the strikes. Currently, they were hoping they would be uh, done over Finito as of Monday or Tuesday. That did not well, happen. Well, when they put the thing about, here's how you can support the SAG after whatever every day this week, you knew damn well it wasn't going to get solved until the end of the week. Uh, I thought it would be done by the end of the week, though. Yeah, now they're saying it's going to go into the weekend and people Again? are getting tired. Yes. Oh, for fuck. Yes. Uh, so let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, go out to shopclownfish.com. Link in the description in the comments. Back Shadow Binders Volume 3 shipping next year. It's our latest graphic novel. Uh, it's actually the first new Shadow Binders content in almost a decade. Uh, we still have some copies of Book 1 and 2 available. But if you want to back that, it would be supported. And uh, we did finally get previously on Clownfish TV in from the printers. It looks very, very good. Hopefully, these will be going out next week. We're starting to go out next week. We're weighing on some stickers and some pins. But uh, it's some fun stuff. It's some lighthearted stuff. I already got the prints prepped. They're the good prints to go. are prepped. They're already enveloped up and ready. The kids are caffeinated. Uh, everything's everything's uh, getting ready to go here. So let's let's talk about this. We'll talk about where the strike is at first, and then I want to go show you guys the comments section on an article that uh, Deadline put up yesterday. And okay. it's pretty heartbreaking. It really is. Well, now it's over here trending. Seal the deal. Fran Drescher calls out studio CEOs to resurface and help the end strike. Four-month-long strike. Yep. TGIF. Let's hope the amp tip CEOs resurface with a seal the deal counter. Wait, 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 wait. Is that what she actually posted? Yes, she did. She literally put, thank God it's Friday. Let's hope they put it. These people aren't working. Uh, so Friday so, matters not to them. So we're at the beginning of the month. You know what's usually oh due? You know what's usually due at the first of the month is your mortgage and your rent checks mm -hmm. payments. They're due at the beginning of the month. So for a lot of people, they're like, oh my God, we're third day of the month. This isn't ending, and I don't know what to tell my landlord. I don't know what to tell my mortgage lender. Like, we're we're done. But, uh, oh, well, guys, TGIF. Yeah, thank God it's Friday, guys. Oh, my God. <sighs> yeah, yeah, there it is. A hard day at the office. I wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what was this? What? It's deadline reported Thursday. There are no, no formal talks between SAG after an amp tip as everything seemed to be on standby, to quote, an actor's, uh, to quote the actor's union. The fact that Drescher highlighted Friday in her Instagram. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's today. After a hard day at the office, I pushed myself to pull together and attend an engagement party with my bestie, Donna Dixon. Finding balance is important. TGIF. Let's hope the amp tip CEOs resurface with the seal of the deal counter. Stay strong, everybody. Fingers crossed. I'm going to go party with Donna Dixon. Oh, but I, but she pushed herself to do she it. She pushed herself. So um, I if I were paying dues to this union, is that a designer dress, by the way? I have no idea. It's something I would never wear in a million years. <laughs> it's, if I were paying dues to this How union. How many leopards died? No, I'm kidding. I, I, I would be like, what the hell are you doing? Why are you... People don't like, even if you need to take a break, even if you need to walk away from a situation, if you're discussed, whatever, do not post that you're flitting around Hollywood with your friends on social media yes. when people are losing their houses. But thank God it's Friday, guys. TGIF, let's go party with Donna Dixon. Oh my God. I would be like, what the hell? Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. We don't know what's going on. The CEOs have been engaged and they will continue to be engaged. Now we have heard 
that if they don't put this thing to bed, if they don't seal the deal uh, before the middle of the month, that they might just postpone I it. I it was until... like the beginning of the month, though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that was ever true. And I said that and I didn't that know if that was, was true. But... They, might, they might push it back till next year. I mean, who knows? Who knows? And there were some people in the comments section. We'll look at that. But they even said, hey, you do realize that even if this deal goes through, they're still going to cut workers. They're still going to cut shows. They're still going to cut. It's not all good news. This isn't mm-hmm. like, yay, guys, Hollywood's just going to turn. We're going to turn Hollywood back on. It, does, it takes months to turn us back on. Yeah. You know, t- weeks at least. Yeah. I can't. So everybody's like, they're, they're, they're calling out her leadership style. Melissa Gilbert. Freaking half pint from Little House in the Prairie is calling out the nanny. Well, that's because they put up those stupid Halloween costume rules and everything else. And this is after they told influencers what they can and can't do. And they're not even part of the union. Oh, I just, God. I mean, TGIF, here I'm going to a party. I can't. Let's see what, oh, the, no. let's see what the comments are like on this <laughs> one before we go to the other one. Uh, be better off with Randy Quaid and Gary Busey representing SAG than this clown. Ouch. Uh, she's asking for a counter based on their own counter. She's negotiating against herself. That's crazy. I get that, everyone. That's not Amp Tip is desperate for a deal, but uh, to undermine SAG's latest response is wild. Anonymous. We get a lot of these in anonymous. If the studios were in a hurry to end this, they'd be back at the table. That's probably true. That is true. I, I think they're they're they are deliberately dragging it out because they're trying to save money. So the uh, auto workers who produce the product that people actually want to buy, unlike them. The entertainment industry is different. Studios are sitting on 75 to 100 years of product. People watch whatever is on the little mm-hmm. screen. As far as the big screen, we saw as we saw during COVID, people wait. They wait for new movies to be released. They'll wait another year or two. These studios will sit back and wait with some studio films bringing in a small part of the company's overall profit. With uh, two, it's a sideline business. She's clueless. Balance is easier to achieve when you aren't broke as hell. Yes, exactly. That's what There's balance, guys. Here I am at party. And it's like, but people are losing their houses. Holy hell, look at this. Oh, it's so great. Did you go out to dinner, take a warm shower, use your expensive self-care products, slip into some expensive clothes, go over in a nice, unrepressed car? Well, unrepressed or run, repossessed, I think right? it's supposed to be, I don't know. I don't know. But we're all out here eating out of cans, some of us with broken washing machines, wearing those leggings again, keeping the AC or heat down over six months to avoid being without utilities entirely, making money where we can, but nowhere near as much as we require to make our expenses. So I'm glad you're having fun. That's great. Maybe we really don't need to see that. It doesn't really give a lot of us a boost. I, I, I know. I, I'm just sitting here like completely dumbfounded that she posted it. That That's where I'm at with this. I'm like, okay, whatever. You you uh, you do you, whatever. They're Hollywood people, right? They live in a totally different reality than the rest of us, right? I, I get that. Your people, especially the below the line workers, especially your lower end, not, I'm not saying you know quality wise, but like the people that aren't making as much money in SAG after they don't want to fucking see you going out to dinner on a Friday when you're supposed to be working to flit around with Donna Dixon in a right. designer dress. I mean, if you do, like, just what don't the put hell? Pictures, don't put pictures of it up. Come me, this is after you tell everybody else not to put pictures of themselves up in Halloween costumes from Strux Studios. I'm like. Yeah, this is what we were talking about yesterday. Cop officer said yeah. they're not going to create any new laws for AI, so anything the studios agree to is not legally binding. I mean, I agree with them about – I do agree with the, the the strike people about the AI issue. I do agree with you. I don't think it's going to go away. I, I agree with you that there needs to be some, you know, s- limitations agreed to. But, again, this is the, they, they, the copyright office has already said no. Yeah. I, I mean, it, the, the, her own people are turning on her after a hard day of work. Weren't they at the table for only three hours just two days ago? Anonymous. Fran is clueless and doesn't understand the social graces and decorum of bargaining, which I'm sure had a lot to do with this dragging on many months too long, starting off with uh, infantilizing company heads with lowercase amp tip CEOs. She needs to chill. She's the one that asked for revenue and had them walk away in the first place. Right. Yeah. So it's not going the way she thinks it's going to go. Meanwhile, I I will give props uh, to Kristen wig and friends they they uh use their comedy troupe to raise a bunch of money for below the line workers two hundred fifteen thousand dollars. yeah i mean i feel bad know? because there's a lot of people being impacted besides the sag after people and again as fran like to you know most of our people can't afford health care and i'm like um 
Isn't that a you problem? Isn't that your job to, to, to make changes so that they can? I mean, I thought that was what the union's for. That's what you're I thought. Telling, you're, 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 telling telling the, you're telling YouTubers, influencers to go get in the union so they can come You and, can't and unionize. Negotiate, negotiate you know, Google algorithm, which isn't going to happen. That's not going to happen. But I'm like, for, so we can line up too and be like, we don't make any money either. And then they limit, they, you know, they limit the flow. And it's like people are trying to you know do some, some things to help the people who aren't even part of sec after that are caught up in this bullshit. I'm just, I, this is some great. So here's the thing. I want to bring, I want to bring this up again. Cause the Drew Barrymore thing still pisses me off. And we don't even like big fans of Drew Barrymore. That's no, the no. thing. It's just, it's just common sense. Not really. But she, she said that she was going to continue her show. Uh, she was allowed to, she was she allowed sure. to, she made sure she checked in the studio, probably told her, Hey, you've got you a contract. Back, you got to yeah. do it. But her below the line workers, needed the show to go on. She could not risk because they and probably said it was a SAG issue. It was a WGA people that were WGA. mad about it. It wasn't even the SAG thing. And they came after her so hard. They took this article down, Vox. Drew Barrymore tried to live, laugh, scab her way. Um, Where are all the articles about the celebrities wearing Halloween costumes and calling them scabs? Yeah. So, and she said she was only doing it because she's trying to save people's jobs. So this is the one that got me. This was uh, yesterday's there's 135 comments. Let me refresh this. A lot of people claiming to be below the line workers who are pissed. Uh, Ayatsi, when we get back to work, if ever, do you really expect crew to work as hard as we have for the last decade? After seeing these scumbags negotiate for only three to four hours a day and taking days off in between, it's insulting to see how little they've been working to yeah. resolve this. Uh, yeah, I totally agree. I need to work. Anonymous. SAG did the same, took a day between to meet with their team. Let's not be hypocrites. But they're going back and forth about this. Um, they said subtext here is amp tip is arguing amongst themselves. They can't come to a consensus. Meanwhile, their minions fill these comment sections acting like beleaguered below, below line workers. I'm telling you, there are actual below the line workers who are making comments on these pages and making comments on social media. And we've actually gotten letters from a couple. But to be fair, is it possible that, that the studios are sending fake comments out and the SAG after people are sending fake comments out? It is. Uh-huh. After so this is this is where it's so frustrating because after it came out the HBO was having their interns and their temps create sock puppet accounts. You can't believe a damn. And they were thing. commenting on Deadline. They were commenting I mean, on Deadline. But do I think that that that, that SAG after do the same thing? Yes, hundred percent. How much money are they getting paid? Yeah, they're gonna do it. So these two comments are the ones that kind of set me off. Um, Wake up says I can guarantee that there are many real life beleaguered uh, below the line crew members. I fed agree. Up over this go take a look at the cruise stories facebook page where there are names and real accounts you're all sounding like the tinfoil hat brigade with your imaginary amp tip troll theories there's no side to take anymore you all suck uh chris says we aren't paid crisis actors you ghoul film crews who have been out of work for all of 2023 are losing everything while watching wga and sag after negotiations stall again yes. and again and again due to pure greed and entitlement again when you got those wga writers asking for more than ten thousand dollars a week oh we live in la oh some my of god these people we can't yeah and they're making a hell of a lot less than you are well some of them probably make money but not all of them but still la is incredibly expensive right? the tip are the good guys here of course they're not but right. are you sure they, that we won't forget the complete lack of consideration for the below the line crew and the hundreds of thousands around the world we have no leverage left in march 24 when it's our turn and i'll single one of my peers has any confidence that writers or actors will stand with us in solidarity i agree there's a couple of that they will, but I'm not holding my breath on that one either. You never wanted fair. You only wanted more and more. Cut a deal and get back to work. AI considerations aren't a once in a lifetime event for fuck's sake. You can renegotiate like always in three years. Yes. That's what but we've I, been saying the same thing. That's what I don't understand about this. And again, this is coming from people not in a union. I'd never joined this union anyway, given the shenanigans around it. But I'm looking at this like this isn't like a 10 year deal. Or a tw- this is a three year thing. So we're going to know more about where everybody stands with AI and residual and all that and know where the streamers are better in three years. Just take the damn deal that they offered for three years. Think about it for the next three years, what you actually Do want. better and perform and then you have more grounds to leverage it. Somebody else said, that, oh, it's not, it's not March, it's July, whatever. Next year, your contract's up. I know I ought is going to be up next year. Um, what's wrong with you? You're a delusional fool. Uh, you've de- dehumanized the below the line workers so much. You think we're bots if we disagree with the way yeah, the strikes well, have been handled. Welcome to how it's been for us. If you don't agree with D- Disney's Star oh, Wars yeah. or something like that. 
I mean, do I think that studio people might be trying to stoke the fire? Yeah, probably. Again, it's really but hard. Do I think SAG after would do the same thing? 100%. Absolutely. I think, I think both sides are talking, but do I think a lot of blue line workers are commenting legitimately? Yes. So 100%. I, it's really hard to root for SAG after a um, leadership when Fran Drescher's out there flitting around on social media. And she got called out for that before. Friday, guys. TGIF, right? Am I right? <laughs> she got, yeah. Do you think that a lot of these people can afford to go out to dinner tonight? Do you think they can afford mm-hmm. it? They're probably looking at like, shit, it's the third of the month. Well, I'm going to start getting calls from my mortgage company A lot of soon. them, did, you know, didn't, well, you, you say their employer ran out. They have to get a job. Some of them are probably working three or four jobs to try to stay afloat. They don't get Fridays, Fran. Maybe they're going to be serving you dinner. Maybe you and Donna Dixon are going to go to some restaurant. If you get it, diarrhea, then to I'm, get, just to get, I'm just saying. You might want to be real careful what, because, you know, you can do worse than spit in a person's food. I'm just, I'm just saying. Um. Yeah, so this person in the comment section is completely infiltrated by paid bunglers from the crisis management firm, the Levinson Group. is transparent and pathetic. Uh, this person, my name is Mark Neal. I work, wow, Mark Neal. I work in 3D animation. I've been out of work all year and have an appointment on Tuesday to begin filing for bankruptcy. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, Mark. I find it incredibly arrogant and callous to be complicit in putting hundreds of thousands of people out of work for much of the year and then think nobody could possibly be angry with you. It must be the studio shills. Yes, it's all it's all pretend. I mean, do I think the studios would do something like that? Yes, but do I think that's the the, the reality in the vast majority? No, I do not. I do not. And I and if you're going to argue that, then I would like I said, I would argue SAG after would do the exact same thing. If you're going to say, well, oh, the studios are going to pay for fake accounts to comment, well, so are the damn SAG after people. Uh, this person here says blame SAG. They said Amp Tip doesn't care about the comments section. They said they knew what they were going to do. Well, I think that's true. You know, they don't need, they don't need to troll the comments because the thing is, is they don't have to, they don't have to lift a damn finger. I mean, basically the WGA and sag after have made themselves look so greedy and incompetent that, you know, to average people that they don't really have to do much to, you know what I'm saying? They don't have to sway public opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm not taking, I will be very clear because people are like, oh, studio show. No, I'm not taking their side. I'm not taking their side. I think that they do get away with a lot of shit that they shouldn't get away with. And I do think there need to be some protections in place, but some of the numbers that I've seen that they have thrown out have been pretty good. And again, it's only a three-year deal. Get people back to work. A third of the term of the deal, people have been out of work. This is ridiculous. Well, they're pointing out a p- good point. They're saying that now because of all the stuff's going on, they're going overseas to get like, you know, kickbacks and stuff like that. So a lot of the U S crews are going to be, not going to be able to be work anyway. And so they can just go overseas and still keep working. And then, but they're not using the U.S. crews, and so now they're going to be even worse off because of it. Uh, yeah, and, and people brought that up, and the, the comments go on and on and on. But but uh, I did see a comment this morning where they said, "Do you think we're any of us are actually going to win? Because this is going to incentivize the studios to outsource, which means none of us mm-hmm. actors, writers, or below the line workers get work because it's all going to Korea." Or it's all right, going to like Japan. That. Or, you know. Yeah, they said November 3rd, have they not figured out how an AI proposal that both sides can agree on? One that's likely to be eerily similar to DGA and WGA? Yeah. I mean, honestly, while thousands of people are out of work, how have they not figured it out yet? Very good question. That's what we keep saying. This isn't this isn't rocket science here. It's not you guys were offered a really good deal. And at that point, you were fine with the AI things. It was just you wanted to study. And then you came back, well, we want AI stuff too. And the thing is, the AI, it's like, nobody one, nobody knows where it's going. Two, I 100% agree that your image, your likeness, your voice, your face, uh, you know, past performances, if somebody wants to sell their likeness to a studio, that's their business. And I, I do believe that some actors, as they get older, they'll they'll take that option. But, you know, you can't sneak that in there. That being said, like, that's kind of a duh. And they already kind of worked that out with the WGA and the directors. That's what they said. They already have those kind of deals in place. So why is it so hard? It was in the last, it was in the October 11th. They said that basically we're going to make sure that we don't take your likeness. And if we're going to, you know, do anything with AI, we're going to let you know, you know, we're going to make sure we get your consent if it involves your stuff, which uh, that's fine. That's completely agreeable, right? Just get the damn thing done. They won't get it done. And, um, you know, they have articles out here about people selling shit. This, um, this guy's, uh, Bussing tables. This guy dug um, into his savings. He's got twenty seven thousand dollars in debt. They didn't have at the end of April, mm-hmm. which is the last time he worked. Well, this is after people just kind of dug out from the COVID stuff. Because remember, like everything was shutting down and you couldn't work then. But yeah, so you had and like you just a dug year. Out. So you just people just literally dug out from that, and then they just they now are just hit hit again. Yeah, that yeah, and to think people were just starting to rebuild their reserves. 
their savings for rainy day and it started raining before people were ready. They had about a year where production was normal and uh, you know, everything's going to hell. She's selling a whole bunch of her stuff on eBay. Um, uh, you know, it, so it's just, it's, it's, it's to the point where it's just, it's absolutely ridiculous. And to be out there we've floating there. around, we've been there. We had to sell our stuff. Oh my God. Yeah. Many we've been times. there multiple times. And, um, you know, when the kids first came and, you know, anytime we had a big bill, we're like, well, we got collectibles. We can unload them. You know, now they're starting to drive for Uber and stuff like that, you know, to try to, to get through it. Yeah. So this is, this is, I'm sorry. This is, you want to talk to this, this comment was really, really stupid. I mean, this would be like Bob Iger out there, you know, when here I'm on my yacht guys with here. my champagne. Exactly. You know, oh, we need a day off too. We're working hard. I'll get, we'll get back to it when we're done. You know? Yes. That's exactly and what this is like, like. You know, they're all wearing designer clothes. Like, have you been in Hollywood? She, they're just, both wearing designer dress. What the hell? And she's fine. Fran Drescher probably gets nanny residuals for the rest of her life. You know? I mean, is that great? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Like, nanny anymore. It's not like his friends know. or something, you know? It's not like, like his friends. But you know what I'm saying? Like, or I'm sure. Seinfeld or something like that. Yeah, I'm sure she's. Yeah, Seinfeld or and the Friends. the office. They never have to. Those guys never have to work again. The cast members of those shows never have to work again. Uh, nanny, I don't, I don't know. But uh, Spinal Tap, she was in Spinal Tap. That still sells. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway, are we going to wrap this up? I Could think have we a need while to, ago, yes. yeah. Yeah. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. And we'll talk later. Bye.